Green it is. <laughs> Have you ever been accused of something that you didn't do? How did you feel? Well, today we're going to explore that situation with the foam fountain of science prank. So here's how it's gonna play out. So I'm going to be packing right outside of my apartment. As I'm packing up, I'm going to ask people walking by if they will watch my stuff. As I do that, Jenna will come by and distract them. I, I need some help. I'm lost, I actually don't even live here. So that good buddy Nick Hurt can drop our potassium iodide into our beaker. Oops. Our Uramile flask actually to create the foam fountain of science, just at the exact same time that I return to accuse them, whoa, dude, of basically ruining my science experiment. And your car. <laughs> and my car. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got a question. Can you just watch my car for like two seconds? No I just have to run upstairs and grab a box real quick. Got it. Thanks, man. Excuse me? I have a girlfriend who's visiting. Um, right now, and I'm supposed to be meeting her uh, down like by the Hollywood signs. Yeah. Do you know how I would be able to get there? By the Hollywood signs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Just walk. If I go like, literally, if I just walk straight yeah, up this way. A street going? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? Holy smokes! Holy smokes! That was so. What was that? Whoa, dude. That I, was like... I just, I just needed you to watch this for like two seconds. What is that? Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've never been in this that situation. That literally just shot... Both of you guys are asking me for help. You, literally you, that you just shot her? all no. the way up. This is my car, that is bad. It is all over my shoes. What is that? It's still going. What did you put in there? It's not me, I'm walking down... I talking to you and you were right by that. No, no, you're good, bro. You're good. You're good. Tell me. Tell me. You're awesome. You're so good. Hey, can we clean this yeah, off my car though? Like, ASAP? like, that's crazy. And I have no idea how to get there. And she just keeps telling me to walk down the street. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? It just started coming out. Sarah, this thing like literally just exploded what out is of the box. I don't know. Is that not your stuff? No, this is all my stuff. What? That's your stuff? Too? Yeah, no, all this is. This is all my stuff. Something in your. I don't. Do you guys know her? Who's she? No, they were just they were helping me get directions. What? Is that? Nobody touched it. Nobody touched it. You guys didn't do this? No. I mean, I left for like two seconds. I don't know what that is. Dude, that's crazy looking. Did you guys put one of something in there? No. Nothing? It just happened. We didn't do anything. That makes well, sense. Last we're just we're just screwing with you. We're, we're totally messing with you. We're totally messing with you. Oh. We're filming right there in that car. There's a camera in there. Oh. There's another camera right down there. Awesome, man. You guys were fantastic. So we know how the prank is gonna work, but how does mixing two chemicals produce a fountain of foam? Hydrogen peroxide, the same chemical that led to frosted tips and many regrets of 90s men's hair fashion, is mixed with liquid soap and food coloring dye. We then add potassium iodide which decomposes the hydrogen peroxide super fast into oxygen and water. The newly formed oxygen tries to escape faster than a meerkat at a cheetah party, but then gets caught up in the soapy water, thus creating foam in a crap ton of it as it rises up through the Erlenmeyer flask. Yeah, that's what those super science glass speakers are called, Erlenmeyer flasks. Okay, no, I think, do you know the area at all? Oh my God, what is that? What is that? What just happened? What did you do? Dude, dude. What is that? Who's, is that dangerous? Who's this? No, I have nothing to do with it. Is that dangerous? Oh my god. I've been working on this for like four years. Dude, I just asked you to hold, like, just look at it for like two seconds. Dude, my boss is gonna fire me, bro. I'm I'm screwed, dude. This is it. We're just kidding, man. You are amazing. Awesome. I don't know, like she kind of wanted to go out tonight. Uh, do you, can you give any recommendations? Oh my God, what did you do? Oh. What is that? What did you do? What, that guy? What do you mean that guy? What is that? Is that toxic? What, what did you do? Dude, he what? put something in there. What'd you, what, what, what'd you do? He put something in there and do you know her? it exploded. I don't know her. My, 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 oh my God, what, like, what, what, even, what even is happening? We're just kidding. 
Thank you. I'm sorry for Like, where to tell her to go? Do you know, like, the streets that we're at around? Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is, what is that? I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> Filming right there. <laughs> Filming right there. Perfect. Thank awesome. You so Thank you so much. We did the prank, and now we have extra leftover hydrogen peroxide. I think, you know, we're gonna do what anyone would do. You know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all of it in one 5,000 milliliter flask and see how big of the foam fountain of science we can make. I'm gonna get some uh, soap in there. And that's uh, science time now. now. <laughs> it works. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Jenna, where can we find Howdy. you? Uh, you can find me at Ms. Jenna Willis on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, Mr. Nick Hurt. Where I can am we find Nick Hurt, you? and you can find me on the internet. That's that's I can't, I can't say that. <laughs>